in this session. Okay. So thank you all. Thank you for joining the first session for AWS Terraform Batch 303. Myself, Ankit Narula, I'm the trainer for this particular batch 303. So how we are going to start this particular day one? So first of all, what we are going to do it is I'm going to give the introduction about me. After my introduction, if you have any question related to your career, related to the course, any doubt if you have, then you can raise your hand and wait for a turn and ask your question. This is how we are going to move forward for this particular day. So myself, Ankit Narula, I have total 11 plus years of experience in the IT industry. In the first three years, I worked in Oracle applications as techno function consultant. Now, what I was doing it as a techno function consultant, there are actually two job roles which I'm doing it. One is technical, one is functional. So I'm doing both the job roles. So that's why it is called as techno functional. As a technical guy, I was writing SQL queries, PLSQL queries, modifying forms, rip generating reports. That what we were doing it. But as a functional consultant, I was a financial functional consultant, which was writing, not writing actually, was doing the financial setups as per our client requirement in Oracle applications. So this is from the last, in first three years I've done it. And then from last eight years, I'm working on top most two cloud platform which we have in the market, AWS and Azure. I'm working on both the cloud platform from last eight years. So this is what I have about my professional experience. Coming to my technical experience, I'm giving training from last 10 years. I have given the training, corporate trainings also, and individual trainings also relative and group trainings also. I'm doing right now also. And earlier I was providing the training for Oracle apps. Now I'm providing the training for cloud from last eight years. So first two years I provide for Oracle apps. And then from last eight years, I'm providing the training for cloud platform. And sorry, one more thing I need to actually include in my professional experience. Recently, last year in October, I moved to US because my last year, my company applied for H1B visa. So last year I picked in that particular visa because it's actually a lottery system. You have to pick by yourself. It means randomly their computer is picking some persons and those person will get the visa. So I got my company is applying from last four to five years, but last year I got picked in the H1B lottery. So I moved to US last year, October. So right now that's why if you might be check my system timing is Right now it's 10, 4 p.m. So those people are from India, it's morning timing for them. So session timing is always Monday to Friday. So, I need to change. Yes. so as per India people, those people are from India. Session timing is 8 a.m. IST, Monday to Friday. So those people are from US, it's 10 p.m. CST. Sunday to Thursday. Because right now in US it's 10 p.m. and it's Sunday right now. So session timing will be the same one. Start this is start time. End time is one hour session. We have it. That will be. And timing is not going to be changed. Timings are fixed for the batch number 303 till last day. So this is about from my side. Now, anyone have any question related to anything? If you want to ask, please quickly raise your hand and ask your question. Anyone wants to ask anything now? Anyone have any question? Okay. 
Okay, look, no one wants to ask any question. No one has any doubt. It's okay. Okay. I just want to know, is there any person in this training who don't know anything about AWS? Anyone in this training who has joined the first session? Yes, Ugumar, you can unmute. Yes, I'm not. I don't know. Do you know? Yeah, I asked the yes. question. Do you you don't know anything about AWS? Yes. I'll come back and Sorry? I'm from backup, I'm sure it So you are not much any 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 service you are not aware of that EC2, S3. Yes, yes. yes, I'm aware of that, but I'm not using it. Now, because to join this particular course, it is mandatory to have AWS knowledge. Without AWS knowledge, you can't join this particular course. If you are going to pay, you are not able to understand anything. To join this particular course, it is mandatory to have AWS knowledge. That's prerequisite. To join this particular course. Because this is Terraform training. Not This is Terraform training. Yes, we are going to work on AWS platform. But here we are not going to discuss about what is EC2, what is VPC, what is S3, what is EFS. We are not going to discuss those things. We focus on Terraform, not on AWS here. That what are AWS services we have. Okay. If you are aware of that, then you can join this particular course. If you are not aware, please don't join this course. Okay. Yeah. Because for this particular course, it is mandatory to have that knowledge. Any question you have related to your career, you can please let me know. Anyone have any question? Yes, Shriganta. Hey, good morning. So, good morning. Uh, I uh, see. Uh, actually, I last uh, uh, that last series uh, I have joined your AWS one. Uh, so I want to know. Just uh, I want to learn about this Terraform. So just I'm working as a VMware admin. Uh, so I hope it is useful for me. No, do you know AWS? Yes, I have done. Yeah, definitely, so, uh, yes, you can join this particular course. And to work on Terraform, you need to have to work on Terraform. You need to first have the cloud knowledge. And so you I have actually I have uh, done certified uh, AWS uh, cloud for practitioner. Practitioner that what, what that one. So, but uh, I don't have a work experience in this no, because I don't have any project. No, uh, work experience is not required to learn this particular training. You need to have the knowledge about that particular service. That's mandatory. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because here we are not going to discuss about that point. Like what this is, what is this EC2? What is this S3? What is this VPC? How can I give the naming yeah. convention for S3? Those knowledge I have. That particular knowledge, we are not going to discuss it. Because that particular knowledge you are getting in the AWS training, not in the Terraform yes. training, we are not going to provide it. Yeah, this is AWS Terraform. We'll work on Terraform on AWS Cloud. But here, more focus is on Terraform, not on the AWS options. Sure. And one more, for me, that I don't know what, whatever you're showing a slide, some black, it's coming for me. Black, black screen. Right now, a notepad file is open. Okay, okay. For me, it's showing black something. No, I not so, uh, above the notepad one. Above the notepad one, on some screens, uh, for me it's something black. It's coming. I'm not sure why it's said, but from my side, uh, I'm able. I'm showing. I'm sharing my screen, and it's not pause. Yeah. It's sharing. Wherever it. you, wherever you're clicking, something black coming to me. I don't know. It's not from my end or something slow. Uh, no, okay. might be the might be the issue from the Zoom side, or might be you have some slow internet connection. I'm not sure about that. Okay. But I'm showing my screen right now. Notepad file is open. Sure, sir. Thanks, Ankit. Thank you. Okay. Anyone have any more question?
Okay. Look like no one has any questions. So we can start with our, about our demo session. Then if you have any question, you can raise your hand. Yes, Sandeep, you can unmute. Hey, hi. Uh, actually, uh, I also wish I am not able to view your screen properly. Now there is one black box is in the right hand side. No, it's here you're talking about? Yeah. Here I'm marked? Uh, yes, yes, literally in left side. Ah, on left hand side also, this is like where I'm doing the red mark? Uh, in the right side, there's a one, uh, block, uh, black block around uh, three inch, three by three inch. Sandeep, are you able to see the notepad file? I'm able to view a notepad. Uh, are, are you able to see notepad? Are you able to see the background, the PPT? Not fully. Not now? Are you that able to see this PPT, the red line, the complete red line, which I marked right now? Yes, yes, yes. So the, this is PPT. This is what you need to see. This is the by default you are getting because of the PPT is not fully open. Now is it open? This is actually my screen because that's a PPT size. Other than there is nothing like that. So that's why it automatically coming as black boxes. It, like but, it is the infrastructure as code. Open, open ah, so this is PPT. PPT. So after that's that, what you are able to see. Nah? Though that's more yeah, important. After that, I'm not able to uh, read anything. Because I'm not showing anything, Sandeep. It's PPT. It's not MS Word file or anything. It's PPT. Because whatever I'm showing you, only that part you can read it. Yeah. Now it is gone. Now you just close it out. Yeah. Thank you. So whatever I'm showing you, only that part you can read it. You are not able to read the full PPT, Sandeep. Okay. 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 Now we are going to discuss about look like no one has any questions. So no one is raising hand. So we can move forward with our demo session. So what is this Terraform? Anyone can let me know, okay, before starting it, let's take your knowledge also. Anyone in the training, raise their hand and let me know what is Terraform. Okay, look like no one has any knowledge. Okay, no issues. Now. With the help of Terraform, what we can do it is we can create our resources. Resources mean like services, like if I want, if we have to talk about AWS. In AWS, we have EC2, we have EFS, we have S3, like these are services. We need to create their resources. Like I want to create one EC2. It means I'm going to create that specific resource. To create that particular resource, we can create with the help of Terraform. Okay, one more question I can ask before moving forward in the Terraform. In the chat box, you can send this answer. No need to raise your hand. What are the ways we have in AWS? My, I'm repeating my question. What are the ways we have in AWS to create EC2 machine? What are the ways we have in AWS to create EC2 machine? Guys, it will be really good if you participate in the training. That will be really helpful for you to guide, understand, to learn more things if you participate. Okay, I got few answers now. Correct, we have one option called console, or I can call it as graphical user interface. We have an option called CLI. Any more options? Anyone knows? I got two options till now. Other one is PowerShell. By using PowerShell also we can create. And we have one more option in AWS. We have one service in AWS called CloudFormation. 
with the help of the service called cloud formation also we can create our resources so these are total four options we have in aws with the help of this we can create our resources and there is one more way in market we have which is called as terraform so by using this terraform also we can create our resources so these are the four options we have in aws and the fifth option we have it is terraform so by using this terraform also we can create our resources which company has built this particular tool called terraform by a company called hasi corp there is a website we have terraform.io so the company called hasi corp that particular company has built this particular tool called terraform so in which year they have created in in 2014 they have particular started this particular tool and it's an open source tool and not just on aws by using this terraform tool we have more than 3000 plus providers we can create their resources by using terraform i can create aws resources also i can create google cloud also i can work on azure cloud also more than 3000 we have providers on which we can work and create their resources create their services and this particular tool is also called as infrastructure as a code and here are their providers which i have mentioned aws azure gcp oracle cloud alibaba vmware so these are the few providers we have we can work on it this is just a few list i can't mention all the one in my ppt so here i have given that particular link where we can check the full list of terraform providers here i can get now i can just get me go to their home page also oh it's more than 4134 now so the current count is 4134 providers so this much of providers we have in terraform so you can work on their services you can create their resources so we can click on browse providers here i am giving. and we have three types of tier here official partner community first i am going to discuss about official these are official one whichever we are able to see so there are 33 official one we have so aws azure google clouds are coming under official now what is this official one official one is completely managed by the hasi corp organization so whatever the official ones we have these company are not managing their terraform codings whatever the by using terraform we are creating our resources official one is completely managed by the hasi corp organization whichever their provider details we have whatever their co codes we have by using this we are creating our terraform that is completely taken care by the hasi corp organization but we have some partners so i'm selecting partners right now so alibaba cloud oracle cloud these are coming under partners partners are the one which is managed by themselves also or it is managed by the hasi corp so it managed by both partners are managing by both so we have 346 partners also we have but the partners are managed by both the organization hasi corp also and it is managed by the provider whatever we have provider it is managed by them also. then we have communities these are the third party communities which we have it is completely managed by them they have just tie up with terraform means hasi corp organization with terraform code but 
they are not managing these communities. These communities is completely managed by themselves. It is not managing by the Hussey Corp organization. Providers one is officially managed, sorry, official ones is only managed by them. Partner is managed by both and community is only managed by And which one we are going to learn? We are going to go with the AWS codex. So we are going to learn about with the help of Terraform, how we can create our AWS resources and what are the options we have in AWS to create their resources. Now, benefits it's very simple and simplicity it's very simple codings we have to use it to work on terraform very simple codings we have to write team collaboration we can upload our codes in github or if you want to upload in your aws repos sorry in aws also we have a code commit service if you want to upload there you can upload there also for your team collaboration very less error reductions we have it because nothing manually we have to do we have to just write our code if your code is correct just run that particular code automatically terraform will create our resources disaster recovery for a disaster recovery you can upload a code in the github so if anything had happened with your resource rerun your code system will again create your resources and enhance security because you can save your codes in github don't store your codes in your local machine or any place in public place where anyone can hack your codes. you have to use it in some private place and here are the some few of the important commands we have right now i'm not going to discuss all the terraform commands but I'm going to discuss four main important commands which we have. The first one is Terraform init command. This command is actually help us to download the Terraform environment in our local machine or I can call it in a simple way to download the Terraform plugins in our local machine. So do I need to run Terraform init command multiple times? No. We don't need to write Terraform init command multiple times. Just a one time, we have to run this command. Terraform init. Only one time. Whenever I want to download the plugins, only at that time I have to download. So till the time you are using the same folder, you don't need to do it. But yes, in future, if you are upgrading it, if you want to upgrade your plugins, then again you can write it. Otherwise, Terraform init commands, we are not using it on regular basis. Then we have Terraform plan guard. Whatever the resource we want to create in Azure, we'll write our code, we'll put our code in our folder. After that, what we need to do it is, we have to create a plan for it. And that particular plan Terraform is going to create with the help of Terraform plan command. So Terraform plan command, we have to use it before creation of our resources. Whenever trying to create something or when you're trying to update something, before that we create a plan. So in the plan, we can easily see what are the details we have given. Like for this particular EC2 machine, which AM I have given, which security group I have given it, which key pair I have given it, we can also see in our code also, but once our plan is ready, we can easily read that particular details also. So it's proper a readable format. We are getting it. We can read that. And then we have to apply that particular plan. So the plan, whichever we are going to create, that particular plan, we have to execute with the help of Terraform 
अप्लाई सो टेराफॉर्म अप्लाई कमांड इज यूज टू क्रिएट आवर रिसोर्सेस सो दिस कमांड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस बिकॉज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट एनीथिंग इन टेराफॉर्म वी हैव टू यूज टेराफॉर्म apply without terraform apply can't apply command we can't create any resource in terraform then we have terraform destroy command destroy means delete so if you want to delete any resources with the help of terraform whatever you have created with terraform you want to destroy also with terraform that particular resource we can do with the help of terraform destroy so if you want to delete anything we have to use terraform destroy command you want to delete all the resources you can delete all the resources also or if you want to delete specific resource in terraform you can delete that one option so we have an option how to delete a specific resource in terraform we can delete that so we'll learn in upcoming session practically how we are we can delete all the resources or how we can delete a specific resource we'll learn both the options and in this particular training in for your practice purpose i'm giving you some shortcuts also but that particular shortcuts we were using only for our practice purpose don't try to use the shortcut which i'm going to teach you in the training in your organizations we are not going to use those shortcuts because in our organization we have to follow the proper process we have to follow all the commands but for a practice purpose you can skip few of the command and directly create your resource also that shortcuts will learn in upcoming sessions the duration for this particular course is 20 days near about 20 days and each session is going to be near about 1 hour sometime might be 5 minutes up and down it can be possible 5 and 10 minutes up and down also possible based on your questions or based on the topic which we are learning so might be 5 and 10 minutes up and down also possible session timing is always as per our scheduled time i have informed earlier already to you guys as per india start time is 8:30 am ist monday to friday as per us 10 pm cst sunday to thursday if you are from us or if you are in any other time zone please i am requesting you can convert by yourself because i am not much aware of other time zones so if you are from other time zone please convert by yourself and course fees is 2360 in indian rupees in us dollars it's 28 us dollars and here is the course content let me share a course content in the chat box if you haven't seen the course content so i'm requesting you to please check the course content by using this particular link shared in the chat box and i'm sharing some more useful details to you guys i'm sharing a logical apps social media details if you are interested you can please follow our social media so you will get the details about our upcoming batches or any discount we were providing it or anything which have some special sessions if you are providing that particular details you will get on our social media and even i am going to share a whatsapp community link for this our batch number terraform 303 if you haven't joined the whatsapp community for this batch 2303 please join by using this thing because regarding upcoming sessions or this particular session recording you will get in our whatsapp community and related to our upcoming session or payment details or our upcoming session link because these are paid this is completely a paid training once the demo session get over we'll share a new link so that particular details also we can inform you in the groups that we have already shared with you so make sure if you are not there you can please join our whatsapp community 303 by using the link which is mentioned in the chat box 
And the last and final thing I'm going to share it is one of the last thing. I'm sharing our logical apps team contact details. If you want to contact them, you can contact them by using a WhatsApp numbers. These are their WhatsApp numbers. And these are their, this is that email ID, you can email them. And I'm going to share one last thing and my email ID also. When you're doing practice, if you have any doubt or if you stuck with any of the issue, you are not able to clear that particular doubt or you're not able to do practice, please email me to my email ID. The only one thing I required from you guys when you're going to email is mention your batch number. For whatever the batch number you have paid it, make sure you mention that particular batch number. Like if you're going to pay for this 303 batch, make sure you mention that particular batch number. Why I'm asking for the batch number? Because whatever the knowledge I have given to you, based on that, I have replied you. Might be I'm replying you something else at that particular knowledge I didn't give to you till now. So you're not able to understand my reply. So that is why I'm always asking it. Make sure whenever you're going to email me today, any day or even after one year also, whenever you're going to email me, mention your batch number. So this is about from my side. Now, anyone have any question related to anything, please quickly raise your hand. Yes, Aru. Uh, hi, Ankit. Hi. So, uh, in Tire, uh, you have mentioned that uh, three options, official, partner, community. So in that community, uh, they need to uh, register it in Terraform, is it? means individual companies. Yes. Sorry, can and you please what you question again? The, in the Tire, they have, uh, it has three options, official, partner, community. And community, yes. Yeah. So the community, what are the benefits it will get means if we, if they register it in the Terraform website? So that particular company services also they can create by using the Terraform coding. Like I can create AWS resources by using Terraform. Mm -hmm. Whatever the company products they have, they have any services. So if they want, they can create also their services by using Terraform. They can register also there. Okay. Okay, means to use Terraform? this Terraform, uh, no, actually. So if they want to uh, use this Terraform, they need to register in this uh, Terraform website. Also, is it? If they want their, their services to be created by using Terraform, then they have to Okay, 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 got it. Okay, Thank like you. I, AWS, AWS is not registering the, by themselves. That is what they have okay. done it. Because communities one is completely managed by themselves. Whatever the official one, it is completely managed by the Terraform. So AWS yes. is not managing their own Terraform codings. Or Azure is not managing it. That is completely managed by the Hasikor organization. Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah. And one last thing. So in that WhatsApp group, I just got it is uh, batch number 302. Is it 303. Something? AWS Terraform batch number is 303. Just a minute, okay. I share the wrong, wrong Zoom link. Just a minute. Let me verify. No, it's batch number 303. The link is correct. Okay. The link which I've shared in the chat box. Uh, yeah, actually I just joined, but <laughs> in WhatsApp group, I just uh, found it 302. Anyway, so it might be 302 is a different batch number. You have joined a separate batch, but the link which is shared in the chat box, this is 303. Mm -hmm. You have joined something okay. else group. I don't know what was a batch number for 302. So okay. If you want to want to join this particular training, you have to join this particular batch. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Sri Gantai, you cannot. Thank you. Thank you. Ankit, just I want to know in this using Terraform, we can create a like container Kubernetes as well. Or yes, only... you because they are official ones. If you check there, 
let me show you that. We'll go to registry. Just a minute, taking some time. Go to providers. Okay. There's a Kubernetes also we have. Okay. In this course, uh, even the even are this is AWS code? Terraform trading. Are, are you showing how to create these are also in this Shikanta, course? Shikanta, this is AWS Terraform trading. In this one, we are only learning about AWS services. Okay. Okay. Sure. Only AWS services. We are not covering. I'm not going to show you how to work on how to create Azure services, how to create Google services. Oh. No. Only, only AWS. AWS. That is why it is mentioned as AWS Terraform. Otherwise, okay. if I'm showing you all, I can mention just a Terraform. Okay. Sure. So to, to know that particular one, every person wants to know those things also. Oh. Yes, got it. Your point. They know what is Kubernetes, but everyone don't know what is Kubernetes. Okay, that is why before uh, on the first say I said that to join this particular batch, it's mandated to have AWS knowledge. Without AWS knowledge, you can't join this particular training. If you join it, you will not get a refund and you're not able to understand those things. So you have to take care by yourself, those things. Okay, you. so you need to have that knowledge first. Anyone have any more question? No question by ask anyone related to their career, related to any doubt. Okay, no question. Okay, I have a one more question. Guys, uh, are you aware of this EC2? If you are there in the training, I might be, I'm telling you the services. You make sure you are aware of these services. EC2, S3, VPC, EFS. Make sure you know these basic services, whichever we are covering to how to create the resources in Terraform. Let me open the course content also for you guys. So, so to know this particular training, like here I'm covering, I mentioned elastic IP security, security groups might be, if you're aware of EC2, you might be aware of that security groups also. IAM, EFS, EBS volume, VPC, how to create key pair using Terraform, even those things also we are going to learn. EC2 S3 security group, I have already told you. So make sure you are aware of these basic AWS services. If you want to join this particular training, it is mandatory. You don't need to know all the AWS services, but yes, means if you have already taken the AWS associate training, you need to know all the services. Okay, localized, no one has any question. I'm one more time asking, anyone have any question? Please let me know. Okay. Yes, tell me. Okay. Hello, can you hear me, please? Yes, tell me. I'm able to hear okay, you. Okay, yes. I'm sorry, just a quick one. The links which you sent in the chat box. You can't I'm copy able... those links. You have to click on those links. No one can copy. That's all by mm -hmm. default stopped by the Zoom. Okay. You can't copy those links. You need to click on those links. Okay. All right. Thank you. Any more question? No, that's all for me. Thank you. Are you in the WhatsApp community of this batch 303? Yes, I'm trying to, it's just an issue that I have on my web, but I'm trying to um, join on my phone, which is why I'm, this is what I'm trying to resolve. Neat. What was your issue? 
Um, no, I mean to join the community on my phone, the WhatsApp community on my phone. Yeah, the link which I've given in the chat box, you just click on that particular link and you can join the particular link by using, join the community by using the link. Or yes. you can do one thing, just contact the admins, which I have shared three mobile numbers, drop a WhatsApp message in the chat box, tell them you want to join a WhatsApp community of batch 303. Three numbers have given one is for Shrikant, Aisha, Pavan, to drop a WhatsApp message to anyone. Don't try to send to all three people. Just drop a message to any one person. Okay. When they check their message, they'll reply. Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't try to send all three messages. Just send to only okay. one person. Okay. All right. Definitely you. you'll get a reply. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. I have joined late somehow now. So I need the syllabus. I want to know the syllabus. What syllabus needs to be covered here? I just want to know, are you in the WhatsApp community of this batch 303, Shiv? Uh, yeah, right now I have joined that. Okay. If you check the WhatsApp community description, there the course content link is given. Even I'm going to share the course content link in the chat box also. Even the link is given there also. Oh, okay, sure. I'll check it. Okay. So you can check the course content. But yes, to join this particular course, again, I'm saying it is mandatory to have AWS knowledge. Without yeah. AWS knowledge, if you join yeah. this particular course, you will not be able to understand. Yeah, I know AWS Azure GCP, sir. AWS is required for this one because here yeah. we are only covering the AWS okay. services. How to create AWS services, not any other platform services we are learning in this training. Yeah, I know three platforms, sir. No issue, sir. That's good. Yeah. Any more questions, Chef? No, sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Look, like no one has any more question. No one wants to ask any more question. So I can end this session here. In tomorrow's session, I'm going to show you. Tomorrow is, is one more demo session. Because only we have two demo sessions for this particular batch. Today is the first demo session. And tomorrow is the one more demo session we have for this particular batch. And it means from next day after that. As per I'm talking about me, today is Sunday for me. So Sunday, Monday, we have two demo sessions on Wednesday. Sorry, not Wednesday, Tuesday. Or as per the people who are from India, for them, it's Wednesday. So from Wednesday, only those people can join. Those are going to pay for this particular batch. Only two demo sessions we have. And 20 days is the duration for this particular course and it's 20 days not 20 working days i hope you guys are aware of that a difference between 20 days and 20 working days it's mentioned as 20 days so 20 days is the duration this one is correct not 20 working days. this is incorrect so as per our course content we have mentioned as 20 days not 20 working days. So I hope you are aware of that. What is the difference between 20 days and 20 working days? So 20 days is the duration for this particular batch. Course fees is 2360 INR and US dollar it's 28 US dollars. And from tomorrow is the last session. Make sure you join it because in tomorrow's session, we are going to learn about how to download their plugins and we are going to learn few of the basic things about more about Terraform and then from Wednesday we'll start learning some more important points and from after that we are moving forward so make sure you practice regularly guys and I have already given my email id if you have any question when you're doing practice or if you don't want to ask question right now related to anything it's up to your wish you can email me also I have already given my email id and here is my email ID. Ankit Narubla at the rate logic labs tech dot. Okay, one more time. I'm asking any question anyone have, you can please raise your hand or I can end the session here. Okay, no question. So let's end the session here. In tomorrow's session, we can learn about how to download the plugins and how to create their resources.
thank you all thank you for joining today's session see you tomorrow have a nice day thank you